the week of October 16th, 2018. My name is Aaliyah. And I am Gavin. Welcome to your TNN. Last week in the United Kingdom at an art auction, the Banksy painting of a girl holding a balloon was shredded immediately after it was sold for $1.4 million. There was a hidden shredder inside the painting frame. As soon as it was sold, it was shredded into pieces. After this happened, Banksy, the artist of the painting, explained that he built the shredder inside of the painting years ago in the event that it was put up for auction. Let's go over Miss Burton with a special announcement. Yeet. Good morning, Tartesso students, staff, and parents. Parents, thank you so much for attending parent-teacher conferences last week. We absolutely appreciate your support. Today through Friday, there are boys basketball tryouts from 3 to 4.30 in the gym. We will be doing honor roll and perfect attendance awards in classrooms today. We will have a Palo Verde nuclear generating station virtual field trip in the cafeteria for grades six through eight from 110 to 245. Parents, you are welcome to attend. And students will be voting in classrooms for student council officer positions. Four through eighth grade students, you will be voting using a link. On Friday, we will have picture retakes starting in the cafeteria at 7 a.m. And then just looking ahead, we will be having our PTO trunk or treat event at the sports park from 6 to 8 p.m. on Friday, October 26th. We hope to see all of you there. Let's have a fabulous week. Thanks, Ms. Burton. Let's go over to Malia with sports. Welcome back to sports. My name is Malia. The Cardinals won their game last weekend against the San Francisco 49ers 28-18. It was their first win of the season. The Arizona Coyotes ha have had a rough start to their season as well. At the time of filming, the Coyotes had lost their first two games, and to make it worse, they haven't ma managed to score a single goal as they got shut down by Dallas and then Anaheim in their home opener. The Phoenix Suns are getting ready to start their season as well. They are hoping to have, have a much improved record over last season. That is all for sports. See you next time. Thanks, Malia. Let's go over to Jackson with Joke of the Week. Hi, my name is Jackson. Welcome to the Joke of the Week. Today we have Mackenzie Bruner. So Mackenzie, what's your joke? Why couldn't the ice cream cross the road? I don't know. Why couldn't the ice cream cross the road? Because it was Rocky Road. Well, Mackenzie, good joke. If you want to be on Joke of the Week, go to the link below. That's all for Joke of the Week. See you next time. Thanks, Jackson. Let's go over to Malaya and Halia with Weird News. <laughs> Welcome back to Weird News. My name is Malaya. And I'm Halia. You probably have foods that you don't like to eat. But imagine a whole museum of disgusting foods that like maggot infested cheese and mendu, which is cow stomach. This museum is located in Malmo, Sweden. It is open on October 29th to January 27th. You can see a lot more disgusting foods like sheep, eyeball juice, to jello salad. If you find yourself looking for things to do in Sweden over the next couple of months, be sure to check out all these weird foods that people really eat from all over the world. That's all for weird news. See, See you, you next, next time. time. Thanks girls. Here's Hannah with Science Time. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Science Time. My name is Hannah. Have you ever heard of the Ice Age? I'm not I'm not just talking about the movie. The Ice Age was when the Earth's climate kept on getting very, very cold. It started about 2.5 million years ago and ended about 12,000 years ago. Back then, a bunch of an animals like the saber-toothed like saber tigers and woolly mammoths that are now extinct roamed freely. In 2016, a gold miner found r remains of a caribou. While all, of the si while all of the scientists were amazed by this discovery, a nearby worker found wolf pup remains. The pup was estimated to be about 8 weeks old. Both of these animals were dated back to the Ice Age. That's all for Science Time this week. I'll see you next time. Thanks, Hannah. Now it's time for Tartesso Teasers with Lauren. Hi, my name is Lauren, and welcome back to Tartesso Teasers. Last week's answer was seven. Only Natalie Moreau from fifth grade got it right. This week's teaser is, you buy me to eat, but don't eat me. 
What am I? If you know the answer, go to the link below. See you next time on Tortesto Teasers. Thanks, Lauren. Well, let's go over to Danny with Name Nothing. Welcome back to Name Nothing. I'm Danny. Last week's item was a vintage can opener. No one had gotten this right. This week's item is featured here. Do you know what it is? If so, go to smusd.me slash be on the news too, for a chance to hear your name next week. See you next time on Name That Thing. Thanks, Danny. Now let's go over to Taylin and Candace with Fun Fact Trivia. Welcome back to Fun Fact Trivia. I'm Taylin. And I'm Candace. Today we have facts about Alaska. You'll have to get which one's right. A. There are more than 3,000 rivers and 3 million lakes in Alaska. B. Alaska's world's largest lake, Lima, is bigger than Connecticut. C. Alaska is less inland water than any other state. We will give you 10 seconds to think. See you next time on Fun Fact Trivia. Thanks, girls. Let's go over to Charles with Quote of the Week. Welcome back to Quote of the Week. My name is Charles. Today's quote is from Ben Franklin. A true friend is the best possession. See you next time on Quote of the Week. Now it's time for a few announcements. Boys basketball tryouts will be this week after school. Cake pops will be sold Wednesday after school. And cun eyes will be sold Thursday during lunch. Vex Robotics will be selling candy and talkies Thursday after school. That's all for us, but before we go, here are this year's student council applicants. Hi, my name is Taylin Sherman, and I would like to try and become secretary. I would love to be secretary because I, have, I love to write. When I'm bored, I'll grab a notebook and a pen and start writing. Sometimes I'll write stories that pop into my head or like ideas, anything. Um, whatever it is, I love doing it. Um, I have never been in student council before, but it's been an interest of mine for quite some time. Um, I like being a part of school activities um, and just anything involved like with that'll help the school. Um, that's why I believe you should vote for me. Hello uh, fellow students and staff. My name is Gage Stone for those of you for those of you who don't know me, and I am running for treasurer. I think I would be good at treasurer because I want to make this school above and beyond. And also, more fun activities such as more stuff at field day for the little ones. More clubs, even though we have the best clubs at this school, and etc. Thank you for hearing my speech and vote for me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Reagan Wade, and I would love to be your treasurer. I think I would be a good treasurer because I love math. I also think I would be a good treasurer because I have been in student council for just one year, but I loved it. I had so much fun making friends and learning how I could help the school. Um, last year, we helped with a lot of the dances and we supported some of our teams with money and we sold candy after school. The last reason why I think you should vote me as a treasurer is because treasurers have to work with people and I love working with people. Thank you. Vote me for treasurer. I feel you should vote me Brooklyn Denny for vice president because I have been in student council for many years before. I can make different decisions. Also, I can make, uh, I could offer different events to vote on, on in student council. I would be able to help the president make decisions too. This is why you should vote me Brooklyn Denny for vice president. Hi. Thank you. My name is Liliana Murillo. I'm in eighth grade and I'm running for student council president. A reason you should vote for me is because I have years of experience in student council. I was two, I was representative for two years and secretary last year. I know how meetings should be run, what events you guys liked, and some that you didn't. Another reason you should vote for me is because I'm a responsible student and a good leader. I'm already president of National Junior Honor Society, where basically my job is to lead all the leaders of our school. As president, I promise to listen to any suggestions on the activities that you guys would like to participate in this year. I'm in eighth grade, which means it's my last year here, and I want to make it memorable for everyone. I'm excited for this year and hope I can make it one to remember. 